What's up guys, it's your guy Noober Schnoober, and I know it's been a while, but I went to the doctor, and he said I had large penisitis. Unfortunately, I had to chop it down to approximately 4.0 inches with a slightly left curve. I don't know why he added the curve, but life will never be the same. Anyways, on to these pests. We've reached a pandemic where people with a big follower account equate their numbers to IQ points. And for some reason, most of them think that they can use their brain while on four hours of sleep and drinking bang energy all day. But don't worry, folks. I'll show you guys just how wrong these are. Starting with Miss Justice herself. Noober Schnooper is very familiar with the concept of the burning bridges, but personally, I don't like hanging around fake people. Especially people who have the same political opinions as Riot Games. Anyways, I took it upon myself to watch the podcast of why she left, and it's basically just a yap fest. But it is understandable that you don't want to be associated with Twitch, since it's essentially softcore, uh, corn. Whatever. What I don't like with what she has to say is that she explains everything from her point of view, aka a rich person's point of view. Like, the thing that she constantly talks about is how streaming is supposed to be fun. For you, absolutely, since you can sit on what you have for the rest of your life. But being a streamer, YouTuber, content creator, or whatever it is, is to the 99% a job. That's the problem with this girl. Like, if you're a broke boy, just say so. She explains everything in a let-them-eat-cake kind of way. I'll give an example. One of the very first things she mentions is streamer contracts, aka a streaming platform says, Hey, we'll pay you money to stream on this certain amount of hours on our website only. And then she goes on about how it's unfair, how it's unfun, and it ruins the content of the content creators. And there's two things I want to complain about. First is the rich grind set about how you shouldn't be able to do whatever you want. And it's like, no. I'm sure in her deals that she's getting now, that makes sense since people want her on their sites. But to everyone else, that's kind of what a contract is. These companies are companies, not your friends, and if someone doesn't want to be restricted, they shouldn't sign a contract. It's something to think about strategically rather than spontaneously react to since it's a somewhat long-term commitment that can go either way. If anything, I see it as streamer natural selection. A uh, second thing I want to complain about is this natural selection. You are not owed a job as a streamer. The only thing that separates you from a person exactly like you is the fact that you got seen, and they didn't. For whatever reason, content creators especially claim they deserve to have this as a job. But, that's a real person watching! It's easy to chalk it down to numbers since after it gets to like 40 viewers, you can't even recognize half the people. But no one should be forced to watch you, nor should a company prioritize you. And if they do, it's because you bring them money, not because you deserve it. Streaming or content creation is as unstable as a job is because it has to be. Or else no one but specified people would be able to. Something like YouTube can offer streaming jobs to people with an actual salary or contract, but the problem with that is that it just runs into it quite simply being controlled, and the only people who will have these jobs are the people they are guaranteed to earn them a huge profit anyways. So, the only people that it becomes sustainable for is the people who can already sustain themselves. Creating streams or videos is not a job anybody deserves and should definitely be treated and taken into consideration that it is a job. It's no different from any job where you have to sell yourself, whether that be a comedian or an entrepreneur or even a car salesman. The whole reason why I'm going on about this is because she has this vision in her mind that streamers are owed something from these companies. And it's like, no, they're not. It'd be awesome if someone like me can get compensation for all the hours I'd put in, but quite fairly, I shouldn't. It's a business, and if I was told to pay all these random geeks that haven't even earned me a dollar, I'd just buy a gun instead with that money and wait till the cute boys with the IRS name come in. That's a joke, by the way. They're not cute. Anyways, I feel like there's some fakeness because she talks about diversity, and it's like, who cares about diversity? I'm just trying to see people I like. 
But the whole bit where she talks about the manosphere thing is completely true. People clowned on her for that, and honestly, I did before I saw the full thing. But I'm just going to throw up some of the top streamers, and you'll notice it being a trend of extremely unlikable people. The unfortunate thing is that especially the household names are the ones influencing our generations of children, aka losers like XQC, Aiden Ross, I Show Speed, Kai Sinai, and to be fair, Pokemon too. The common denominator with all these is that I wouldn't let my children watch them because they care too much about what other people have to think to be real people. It's exactly why social ideals, they are one side or the other. It's never, oh, I have this left side idea, but I also have this right side idea. But realistically, what I think about this is in the middle. It's always like, bam, 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 bam. And like I said, to draw this back to Pokimane, I genuinely think that she is right. It's just that the word Manosphere is overused and is definitely a, st a stupid counter to stupid arguments. Things like, Oh man, I really like waffles. And then some loser goes, So you hate pancakes? Or even, more controversially, I don't like the filling in cake. And then the same guy goes, So you hate cake? The word is the left equivalent of libtard. It's overused, its meaning has diminished, and the second you say it, no one except the people who already agree with you will agree with you. People like I Show Speed, Kai Sinat, and Aiden Ross definitely use women as sexual props in their videos because they know it gets views. They themselves might not be womanizers, they are, but it's in com combination with a whole bunch of things that make them a part of the manosphere that she's talking about. I mean, seriously, look at their videos. Usually just their quote-unquote friends sitting in a room and reacting to some girl being overly sexual for no reason. Even on Twitch, without having to click, I get bombarded with women that are 97% naked. And that is the result of involuntary celibate men. Wait, Noober Schnoober, I thought you said not to listen to Pokemon. And it's like, yeah. You still shouldn't because you have this thing called a brain, and I have this thing called being able to read people very well. Pokimane is fake. From the way she talks, to the way she looks at the camera, to the way it feels like there's always a director in the background. She's practically known for being fake and a hypocrite. This combined with her rich mentality definitely skews anything she has to say, because you can pretty much tell she doesn't want to say anything real, aka something that will hurt her career or the parasocial connections she likes making. Anyways, let's go to the next streamer. This guy. Classic example of a champagne socialist. Quite literally. This is going to be the 20th thousand video around this, but the things he said about being a streamer compared to a normal job is just genuinely ridiculous. And it's not even saying what he said prior to this so was also not ridiculous. Hassan is the pure definition of someone who complains about first world problems, while also not contributing anything to the world. I feel absolutely terrible about this guy. Oh no! What movie do we have to watch now? <sighs> Here's a little story in Nuber Schnuber lore. My mom used to work as the mediator for the government uh, between them and mostly farmers on how much they got paid. And guess what? When anything has to do with money, people get angry and you can't just ban them like you do with a Twitch chat. You have to personally listen to this person scream at you as you have to talk with them about how they have to do this much more in order to meet the quota they were given. And you can't just walk away from the situation at all. A message from Tracer Overwatch Farts 96 saying, You need to stop talking is a far cry from genuine jobs where you have to actually interact with these assholes. I sometimes think that Hassan just might be an alien because his brain doesn't work like ours. America deserved 9-11, dude. Fuck it. I'm saying it. We, we fucking totally brought it on ourselves, dude. Holy shit. We did. We fucking did. I know it's low-hanging fruit, but if you genuinely get into what he's saying, he's also a complete hypocrite. But like I said, anybody who has the same political opinions as Riot Games should not have ideas. What genuinely upsets me is that he's clearly egotistical, which isn't an uncommon thing among the top streamers, but it's the fact that he's dumb and egotistical. 
Despite claiming that he's a socialist, he's living the quote-unquote American dream, something that socialists entirely disagree on. You can make the argument that, oh, well, we're in a capitalist economy, so it makes sense he's not living like a socialist. But it's like, what? That's like saying that you're a vegan, but the only reason you eat meat is because the world isn't vegan. That is not a straw man argument. It just genuinely makes zero sense why you would claim to be something and then not be something without both being dumb and a hypocrite. It's why it's so funny that he complains about streaming because he's fulfilling this socialist stereotype of being lazy. Boo hoo hoo. I have a job that contributes nothing to the world and pays me more than a doctor, but I'm still upset. Boo hoo hoo. If Hassan genuinely believed in what he was saying, at the bare minimum he should dedicate one third of his income to both tax and donations. When he talks about taxing the rich, he himself is the person he talks about allocating a money away from. He clearly does not need this money he has, so whatever he doesn't need should all go to some organization or whatever, because that is what he preaches and believes in. Sell that car, sell that house, live with what you need, and stop saying silly things on the internet. Only once that, I will genuinely respect him, only because he'd be helping out people with that money than he needs to be spending on himself, according to his beliefs. Anyways, last streamer, some red pill loser. The fact that when he opens his mouth, people actually listens astonishes me. He was literally Andrew Tate's boy toy to fame for the longest time. And you can just tell he's playing a character when he goes on stream. It's almost pathetic the way he tries to be controversial because nobody will say anything. And then he just feels the need to be a horrible person. Well, like with Pokimane, I can agree with what he has to say sometimes, but he's because he's playing this character for attention, a lot of what he says is over-amplified just for the sake of being controversial. It's like when the wrecked feminist videos were so popular, and it's just gone full circle to this cringe fest where I'm seeing this new generation go through pretty much what us 2000s kids went through. This whole concept is not new at all, and it's kind of why I have a theory on political parties, and it's almost like a pendulum swing. Everyone remembers the 2016 BuzzFeed videos, and that's when the world was most right. Everyone remembers the 2020 BLM protests, and that's when the world was most left. Now the pendulum has gone one around once again. One thing too is that I believe this pendulum mostly affects young people. People like Aiden Ross have always existed, and they mostly target young men who have no clue what they're doing in their life. These people are the most susceptible because they naturally look for guidance on how the world is and how a man should act for a variety of reasons. Because let's face the facts, a man is judged entirely on what he does. And most of these people are doing nothing with their lives. So when someone says confidently that, You can beat this system and break your chains! That is the motivation no other person is giving them. And if you asked anybody if they would change their anything about their lives, they would say yes. And what most people need is somebody to just say, do it. The unfortunate thing is that he is not a real person, and a lot of what he has to say is entirely done by this character he's made for himself. He genuinely seemed like a normal person before, but money completely ruined him. Money ends up corrupting people, and you start hanging out with the wrong crowd that encourages horrible behavior. Pokimane in that sense is the same way, where you change your morals and beliefs according to what earns you money. I believe she also could be changed. Hassan is just far along gong and egotistical to make any impactful changes. And the thing is, is that as much as all of them earn more than I ever will when making a year, they're truly missing out on life. They will never have the same experiences again that I'm experiencing. It's kind of why I feel bad for the top streamers. Everybody treats you like you're more than a person and that whatever you say will be right. You're forced to be a fake person and hang out with other fake people. So you end up missing out on real life experience. I'm going to talk about Aiden a little bit more after this, but I personally believe that these people are polarized to one group and, and nobody will suddenly start advocating for something on the other side because that is the character they've built. I'm Noober Schnoober. Fame doesn't affect me right now. And it's what makes me a normal person.
In this world, we're made to believe that something is one or the other. That's why we have good and evil. But that's not true. Because these people are not bad, except the Zahn. They're just doing bad things. These are still good friends, good brothers slash sisters, or even just good people in general. Which is why so many people believe them. Because they're not inherently the devil. You can't just slap a label on a person and call it a day because that's not what a person is. I pretty much guarantee you that all except for one of these people would be a cool person to have a conversation with. And it's just that you should see them as that. A person. People are wrong, including me. I definitely didn't say the right things in this video. But the only thing you should take away from what someone says is what's right in your brain. There is no right and wrong. So just go ahead and agree or disagree with that. Anyways, Aiden and then we're over. I don't want to use this word since it sounds horrible, like cringeworthy, I don't even know, even corny. But it, it is disgusting that he sexualizes women as much as he does. Barely do you never see one as a prop as mentioned earlier. This is especially horrifying considering that it is a future generation of dudes that are taking this advice to heart and possibly unfortunately succeeding in relationships because of this. I say unfortunate because hookup culture is already so rampant and re relationships are already so fragile. He himself with his relationships are proof enough. Feminism fucks over women as much as people like Aiden Ross fuck over men. Radicalizing these geeks seem to be common everywhere because these people have the answers to the people who don't. For whatever reason, people also don't want to use their brains to figure out whether or not something is right or wrong rationally. So mimic the same things they hear from the people they believe in without another thought in mind. Like how kids would preach about Santa Claus despite him literally being real. Anyways, this has been Noober Schnoober, TLDR, please use your brains and don't listen to idiots. Once again, this has been Noober Schnoober, and I will see y'all later. Peace.